Assalamu alaikum and greetings everybody. Welcome back to more RC reviews from my little room here in Dubai. In this video today we are going to look at DYS160 or X160. Well they have to add X in before every name. Anyway this is a mini FPV racing quadcopter from DYS. This is a BNF type, bind and fly type, little FPV racing quadcopter from DYS. Let me quickly open the box and show you what's inside. First thing first, you get a user manual, then you get three inch two blade propellers, you get a clue leaf antenna, and of course you get a little quadcopter look at the size of this this is a 160 uh, size uh, quadcopter and thank you very much they forgot they completely forgot to send me batteries for this so I have to locate the batteries for it then we have cables uh, to connect to the flight controller we have the legs for the quadcopter screwdrivers and velcro so, so that's it inside the box let me bring the camera closer and take a closer look and talk about the features of a DYS 160 FPV racing quadcopter. Okay, here we are with the DYS X160 mini FPV racing quadcopter. Now, the very first thing that is worrying me are these special three inch two blade propellers. These are with three holes, two for the screws and one for the motor shaft. I'm sure these are plenty and plenty available in Dubai and I will have no problems finding these special propellers for DYS 160. So I will feel free to crash and break these propellers as much as I want. I hope you understand my sarcasm here. Anyway, so these propellers are really worrying me that how am I going to find these propeller if I crash it. So I have to be very, very careful not to crash it. All right, let's not worry about propellers too much. Let's talk about the quadcopter itself and its components. Apart from its highly integrated board and body, the body which is the top board, once again, the highly integrated, these kind of boards, bodies on the quadcopters are a very bad idea. One crash, one crack on these integrated or highly integrated board and you are done. You're gonna get a new board and replace it if you want to fly this thing again. Anyway, to me, in my experience, these are really, really bad ideas. I have used the integrated boards on these kind of quadcopters and once you crack one of the board, you are done. So DYS, this is a very bad idea to use the whole board as the body of the quadcopter. All right, let's get to the motors. DYS is running their own brand motors and these are 4,000 kV motors spinning three inch propellers. Now I am expecting a lot of speed on this setup, but so far on these kind of uh, ready to fly quadcopters, my speed expectations were not fulfilled. Uh, I always expected them to fly very, very fast, but turned out those were slow pokes. So let's see what DYS can do on these uh, three inch propellers and 4,000 kV motors. All right, next we are coming to the flight controller. Flight controller is the latest SPF3 flashed with clean flight. Mm, nice flash with clean flight. You just have to connect your receiver and configure your radio and start flying right away. This is gonna be my very very first time to fly uh, SP3 F3 flight controller. We also have the V3 OSD with the video real-time transmission so you can have all the video uh, all the flight data on your screen for you to fly properly we have the video transmitter here which is switchable for uh, 20 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt very very nice thinking here because some countries that do not allow uh, 200 milliwatt or high power uh, video transmitters so you will be able to switch your video transmitters power to 20 milliwatt and you will fly legally now talking about the camera is a one by three inch cmos uh, camera for the fpv 
and it is 127 degree FOV switchable to 160 degree FOV hmm, some of the switching going on here all right so that's it for the dys 160 mini quadcopter next i have to locate a small battery that actually will fit or is recommended and configure it with 89 radio link 89 radio or i also have the new uh fly sky i6 radio so i can actually uh, take any of these radios whichever has the smallest receiver i will use that radio so far radio link 89 has the smallest five channel or six channel receiver so i'm gonna probably use that one for now so uh, once i finish configuration uh, i will probably also try to make a video of how i'm configuring it with the radio link 89 radio control and a radio link receiver a small six channel receiver so probably that i will also put so I will also put that configuration in my videos and once it's ready then we'll bring it out and we will hope cameras can actually see this little quadcopter in the air and we will see how well this quadcopter is performing. So stay tuned and let me get this little quadcopter ready for the flight. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because we upload regular and exciting RC videos.